Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Introduction to Accounting adalah topik 1 dalam silibus matriklasi. Okey, untuk uh, topik ini saya akan bahagikan kepada dua. Untuk video first part adalah daripada subtopik 1.1 until 1.6. Manakala untuk video part 2 adalah subtopik 1.7 hingga 1.9. Okay, we continue with the part 2, types of financial statement. There are four types of financial statement. Firstly, statement of comprehensive income for the period or profit or loss. Statement of financial position as at the end of the period. Statement of changes in equity for the period and a statement of cash flow for the period. For statement of comprehensive income or statement of profit or loss, it reports the financial performance of an entity over a specific accounting period and it contains information on revenue and expenses including the net profit or loss of the business entity. But there are several formats in reporting the revenue and expenses depending on the nature of business run by the entity. Example of statement of comprehensive income for service company. Firstly, you have to write the title. For example, Perniagaan Dobi Bersih, Statement of Comprehensive Income for the year ended 31st December 2019. Then, you write down the revenues, let's say laundry fees 140,000 minus expenses, for example, rental expenses, utility expenses, and the total expenses is 60,000. So, Revenue minus with expenses, then you can get net profit 80,000. Example of statement of comprehensive income or statement of profit or loss for merchandise companies. For example, Syarikat Rizalman Baju Melayu statement of comprehensive income for the year ended 31st December 2019. Revenues is the sales 100,000 minus cost of goods sold. Because of the merchandise company, it must have the cost of goods sold. Let's say 60,000. Then we can get the gross profit 40,000. After that, we minus with the operating expenses such as depreciation expenses 3000 and salaries expenses 10000 for and the total for operating expenses is 13000 gross profit minus with operating expenses then we can get the net profit 27000 next is a statement of financial position Financial position is also known as the balance sheet and it reports the financial position of a business entity. A statement of financial position contains three main components. Asset, liabilities and owner's equity. Now we take a look at an example of a statement of financial position. So first of all, we have to write down the title. Syarikat Rizalman Baju Melayu, a statement of financial position as at 31st December 2019. Firstly, list down all the assets. Assets divided into non-current asset and current asset. Firstly, write down the non-current asset. Motor vehicle minus with accumulated depreciation. Then, we can get 61,600. 
for current asset, inventory, and the total asset is 67,800. Then, we write down owner equity and liabilities. Firstly, write down the owner equity. Opening capital plus net profit minus drawings. Then we can get the closing capital is 57,000. And then write down the liabilities. Write down the non-current liability first. Long-term borrowing is 5,000. And then write down the current liabilities. For example, account payable. So, the total liabilities is 10,800. Plus equity and liabilities. Then, the total equity and liabilities is 67,800. For financial position, total asset must be same or equal with total equity and liabilities. Thirdly is a statement of changes in equity. A statement of changes in equity reports how the owner equity has changed over the reporting period. And it reports how opening capital has increased through net income and how it decreased through net losses and drawings. The example of a statement of changes in equity. First of all, write down the title first. Syarikat Rizalman Bajumlayu, Statement of Changes in Equity for the year ended 31st December 2019. Opening capital that is on 1st January 2019 is 40,000. Plus net profit, 27,000. The net profit we can get from a statement of comprehensive income or statement of profit or loss. Then minus withdrawings, 10,000. The closing capital is 57,000. And lastly, a statement of cash flow. It is also known as cash flow statement. It presents the movement in cash flows over the period. It shows the inflow and outflow of cash of an organization according to three main activities, which are operating, investing, and financing. An example of a statement of cash flows. As per on the screen, firstly, write down the title, Syarikat Rizalman Baju Melayu, Statement of Cash Flows for the year ended 31st December 2019. Then, sum up the cash flows from operating activities, that is 12,000. Cash flow from investing activities, that is negative 13,000. Cash flows from financing activities that is 3000. Then we can get the net cash inflow is 2000. After that, plus opening cash balance as at 1st January 2019, 500. After that, we can get the closing cash as at 31st December 2019 is 2500. Professional Accounting Bodies in Malaysia Actually, there are a few accounting bodies in Malaysia, but I just list down three of them. First is Malaysian Accounting Standard Board or MASB. Secondly is Malaysian Institute of Accountant or MIA. And 
Malaysian Institute of Certified Public Accountants or MICPA. Now, let us take a look at their function one by one. Malaysian Accounting Standard Board or MASP. It is established under the Financial Reporting Act 1997. The main function and authority are review, revise or adopt existing accounting standard, issue statement of principle from financial reporting, sponsor or undertake development of possible accounting standard, develop a conceptual framework for the purpose of evaluating purpose accounting standard. Malaysian Institute of Accountants, MIA. It is established under the Accountants Act 1967 and the main function of MIA are to first, determine the qualification for members Secondly, provide training and continuing professional education to existing and potential practitioners. And thirdly, control the accounting practice in Malaysia. So, for those who are interested to be an accountant in Malaysia, you have to be registered under MIA and then you can get the title Certified Accountant Malaysia or CA bracket M. Malaysian Institute of Certified Public Accountants or MICPA. The Malaysian Institute of Certified Public Accountants or MICPA was formed as a professional body in 1958. The main function of MICPA are to Advance the theory and practice of accountancy in all its aspects. Recruit, educate, train and assess a body of member skill in these areas. Maintain high standard of practice and professional conduct by all its members and develop the accounting profession. Lastly is potential career in accounting. Actually, there are a lot of career or potential career in accounting. That is in public accounting to assist organization and individual with financial reporting and accounting tasks. For example, auditing. Auditing is to ensure compliance with financial law and regulation in a variety of industries. Other Example are taxation and management consulting. In private accounting is for profit company or non-profit organization. For example, financial accounting is to report fiscal standing to investor and the public. And also in management accounting is to oversee financial operating to lead a business to success. In governmental accounting is to manage budget, expenses and revenue at all level of government. While in forensic accounting is to uncover illicit activity and track criminal funding. Okay, that's all for topic 1, introduction to accounting. See you on next topic. Thank you and good day.